So what is up guys, it's your boy Mazia here and of course I know I haven't been doing too many Kingdom Hearts 2.8 videos. It kind of seems like I'm definitely not supporting the whole 2.8 thing, you know the whole hype train, I'm not riding it, you know. Of course I already told you guys that I'm not interested in Dream Drop Distance HD because I didn't feel like it's definitely warranted yet, although I definitely still will be doing a playthrough of it because it is an amazing game, don't get that misinterpreted, it is an amazing game. Dream Drop Distance is once again one of my top three. It's one of my top three favorite Kingdom Hearts games, but I didn't feel like, of course, if it was going to hold up Kingdom Hearts 3, it definitely didn't need to happen at this moment in time. So today I wanted to talk about 0.2 and, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3 and where 0.2 will lead the rest of the series. So as we know from Tetsuya Nomura, Aqua will find out how to save, Re I mean, Ventus and Terra. So let's go back a few years to where we actually wound up at E3 2013. So of course you guys remember Sora picking up Master Ericus's Keyblade. I don't remember what the Keyblade is called, but I remember him picking it up. Of course you guys should too. It was one of the most hype moments of 2013 at E3. And when Sora picks up this Keyblade, he looks at it at a in a mysterious way, kind of as if he's kind of thinking to himself, what the fuck? Where did this even come from? And, you know, he looks at it, and I guess you could say he looks out to kind of see what's going on. Now, of course, initially I did a, I think I did a video, if not on one of my old channels, which is probably taken down now, but I actually did a video talking about why the Keyblade wound up there. And I kind of thought that she sent the Keyblade there to actually kind of alert Sora and Riku, or alert, of course, the gang, everyone that she is out of the realm of darkness maybe she sent it there from the realm of darkness just to actually send it there and even now i was going to make a theory talking about how the keyblade came from aqua to sora but that's not really the case if we go back into the statement of what tessie namura said he said that aqua will find the way to actually awaken ventus and terra so if she finds a way to awaken him and Riku has become a Keyblade Master, she may have sent this Keyblade to actually be given to Riku so that that way he could go into Castle Oblivion and actually retrieve Ventus's body. And of course, I already made a theory before about Riku actually saving Terra. Of course, Terra and his heart, a piece of his heart actually resides inside of Riku. And of course, the armor is there. So of course, if he has a piece of his heart and then the armor actually has his mind. Now, all I think that is left for is for Riku to actually dispel Ansem from his body, if I'm not mistaken. And then that part goes free. It match. I mean, it comes together with the armor, but that still doesn't recreate his body. And then they still have to release his body from Xehanort's grasp, grasp, which Riku has also shown the ability to do inside of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance when he saves Sora from the deepest depths of darkness, which is where Xehanort tells Riku Terra that that is where he's going to end up by the time, of course, Xehanort has taken full control of his body. So let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think that I'm spot on with that? I definitely think that I am because the way how the trailer is actually matching up with the statement that Tetsuya Nomura has said and how he said before or Tayasue has actually said that they've actually come together for a long time and actually gotten the story of Kingdom Hearts and finally closed up all the loose ends and finally gave, given or written in proper explanations of how things will work, how things are going to end, and how to wrap up Kingdom Hearts 3. So definitely let me know what you guys think. This is me, your boy Mazia. Don't forget to do a little A-class gaming and everything you do. Don't forget to give it A-class. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace the heck out.